Welcome back to the channel. I'm Rochelle. This is Brampton Gardener. And today we're going to be talking all about my new seed storage. So if you've been following along on my Instagram or Facebook page, you will see that I bought this um, at the during uh, Christmas break at the local thrift shop at Encore Thrift Shop. And I paid $4 for this. And I love it. It's worked perfectly. So set it right here. So there is room if at some point I need to stick it out again. So there is room if at some point I need to make uh, turn some of this into seed storage as well. So then uh, my first drawer. So my first drawer here on this side are all of my. Um, this is awkward. The first drawer here is all of my um, peppers and tomatoes. So I have whether they're store-bought packets or self-saved um, seeds, um, like my own little envelopes, they are all in here. So the first section is my um, peppers. I have a little divider for with cardboard. And then uh, at the back, I got a ton of these tomato seeds from a seeds from um, Gardening Fun with Jane. I'll drop her link uh, down below if I remember. And she sent me a ton of little seed packets of tomatoes, but they're in these little tiny seed packets. And so I've kept them in baggies to keep them from getting lost. So I have a baggie of just like all tomatoes and dwarf tomatoes. And then this baggie is just micro dwarfs, which I'm going to be starting very, very soon. So I'll talk about the seeds I'm going to be starting in just a few minutes. But first of all, let's just check out my drawers. That, that came out wrong. Middle drawer. I really don't think I could cram any more seeds in this drawer. It is really tight. So this is the, the drawer of all the seeds that I have saved myself. Uh, I was kind of sad that they don't all fit standing up. So some of the envelopes I have are a little shorter and they fit standing up. The rest have to lay down. But these are all flowers and flower seeds that I have either saved from my garden or like from neighbors planters and things like that. So those, and they're all alphabetically organized in there. Then over here on the side, um, you can see I have plenty of room in this one. I could add a few more things. So this is my, these are my herbs. So these are all seed swap herbs, self save seed herbs, store bought herbs. Um, so I have like five different kinds of basil. And then I have, I did try, I want to try the microgreens. So I stuffed them in here. So I've got lots of different kinds of basil, cinnamon basil, cyan basil, lemon basil, lime basil, uh, red reuben basil, and then regular large leaf basil. I have some borage. I have some burdock. I have um, cilantro, chives, my own saved cilantro, culantro, uh, dill, edible chrysanthemum, uh, Mexican mint marigold, which is also known as Mexican tarragon. So I'm really excited to try that. And then parsley, flat leaf parsley, and pineapple sage. So excited to try some of these varieties this year. And then in the bottom drawer, so when, when I got this, I was very excited to use this for seeds, right? Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. So I pulled open the middle drawer and I grabbed one of my seed packets. Well, let's use the Baker Creek one because that's the first one I had grabbed. And I go like this and I'm like, oh no, the seed packets are way too big um, for the drawers. So I was kind of, I was kind of disappointed at first. Then I realized, well, I will just put all of the seed packets that are store-bought seeds in the two bottom drawers. And then my personally saved seeds, um, the envelopes are a lot smaller and they work up here. So it all worked out. So I have uh, all of the vegetables I have together, whether I've saved them or not. Same with the herbs, but the flower seeds I have separated into like the store-bought uh, envelopes and then my personal um, seeded, self-saved seeds. That's really hard to say. Okay, so vegetables are over here. So I have, uh, I have some new ones this year I'm very excited about. So I have the uh, rattlesnake beans. I have the um, Armenian cucumbers. And then a lot of the rest is stuff that I've already planned on, I've had before. Um, I got some lemon cucumber and, oh, the Turkish orange eggplant. Super excited about those. Uh, I just bought those this year. So you can see I have the rest of my veggies are here. They're on a little bit of an angle. Um, I did do a little cardboard divider to kind of keep them from flopping over too much. And then on this side, I have like my bulk, my larger bags of beans and um, 
greens. My little mini greens are in here. So these are like, I have mustard, I have Mizuna, I have all kinds of little seed packets that are stuck in there. Okay. Hello, how are you? Good morning. Okay. It works better when it's not on an angle. All right. And then this is my my happy bin. <laughs> These are all my flowers. I am so excited to start a bunch of new flowers this year. You have no idea. Uh, so a lot of these are from my new order that I did this summer from Stokes Seeds. So they are in these packages here. So these are actually even larger than the Baker Creek. These are huge. So uh, they definitely wouldn't have fit into the other drawer. So I have all of my new flower seeds. And then on the side here, I have a few of the bulk, um, like my lily and unlabeled random seeds. Hi. Oh, excuse me. Would you like to play fetch? Yeah. Watch out for those. Uh, so this is where all of the other seeds are. And these are alphabetically um, in here. So... Oh yeah, my Zinnia and me, really excited about that. So um, I was surprised how, I was surprised that all my seeds fit in here, to be honest, because I had had all of my other seeds, like I've had them in other containers and they just, I didn't have them shoved in quite so tightly. And I had had them in like three or four different boxes and containers. And so it was high time that I organized them and it's really nice to have them all in one place. Hopefully. I hope this is all of them. I have a feeling that I'm going to come across like a package or a bag somewhere of a bunch of, <laughs> of a disease that I've completely forgotten about. So that could happen and I wouldn't be too terribly surprised. So this is where um, the seeds are going to be stored. I am going to be decorating this box. Oh, that's backwards. Then sideways. I am going to be decorating it and I'm trying to decide at this point if I want to, um, which route I want to take. So I do most of my seed starting is upstairs in my bedroom and so I'm wondering if I want it to kind of match my bedroom decor or if I'm going to leave it down here in the living room or or wherever so I have not decided on how I'm going to decorate it or paint it yet so I decided to hold off on that but I needed to get the seeds started I needed to get the I mean the seeds sorted because I am going to be starting my seeds very very soon it's just not quite ready yet. You're just going to sit there with a ball in your mouth? Yeah? Hello. How are you? Hi. And so you might wonder why, why I haven't started my seeds yet. What am I waiting for? Okay, so normally, and I have been planning on starting my seeds in the beginning of January. And especially like my um, pansies and some of my greens, my onions, things like that. And then I ended up going on a trip. Uh, if you haven't watched, I will have some videos of that up. Uh, I went to visit my parents in Alaska and I was gone from the 11th to the 20th. I got back on the midnight on the 20th, basically. So the 21st. And so I was like, I can't start any seeds before I go because, um, you know, I'm leaving them with my husband and daughter and they're not going to be, they're not going to watch and water my seedlings like I would. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't trust you. So I'm like, I'll wait until I get back. And so then when I got back, um, the first like couple of days, I'm just like recovering from jet lag. I was unpacking, I was doing a bunch of laundry. And then on Monday, I had to set up the grow room. So I had to move the shelving unit and stick, stick it in front of the window and get that all set up, find all my stuff. And then uh, we were working Tuesday and Wednesday. And Wednesday, I decided, you know what? I've never used seedling heat mats before. And everyone swears by them. So maybe it's time maybe it's time to give it a try so i had won a uh, amazon gift card back in november i think it was in november uh online from southern news by sherry and it was be it can only be used on the us amazon site so um, i don't usually order from that so i thought you know what i'm gonna order myself some seat gift card and i'm gonna buy myself some seedling mats so i was gonna start my seeds anyways and my husband was like, well, why don't you just wait until the seedling mats come in? Because we're dropping down to the teens um, next week. And my grow room, it's, you know, everything's right in front of the window. So even with the heat on in the house, it's going to be a bit cooler. And he's like, there's no point getting your seeds started and going through all of that. And then, you know, if they get stunted because it's too cold or whatever. So he said, you know what, you might as well just wait until you get the seed mats. 
and then go from there. So they're supposed to come in on Wednesday the 2nd. So hopefully they come in, I'll, you know, plug them in, make sure they're working, and then I will get all of my seeds started then. So I will be starting everything about a month uh, later than I had planned. And so that means instead of starting off with just a few different varieties of seeds every week through the month of January and then a few into February, I'm gonna be going like just full on gangbusters uh, seed sowing. So uh, be prepared for that next week. There will be, um, I don't know how many videos I'll break it up into or how it's gonna go, but I will be doing some things in the soil blocks. So you will get to see uh, my mini soil blocks. I absolutely love, love, love those. And then there are a few seeds that I will still be doing like in the um, broadcast kind of seed method because the seeds are so, so tiny. Um, that is just, it's just too much of a pain to try and get them into individual soil blocks. So that is coming next week. Uh, well, this is, uh, this is it for January. <laughs> I didn't really, I didn't really post um, a lot of videos that were um, garden content related in January because I didn't really do any gardening in January yet, but we're getting there. Um, I had a wonderful trip. It was amazing. Uh, the scenery in Anchorage is just absolutely stunning. The mountains are right there. We saw moose. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, uh, video is coming. Uh, I think I'm releasing it on January 29th on my birthday. Um, the main video with like kind of driving through and then the moose. Um, I also have a shorts of the moose walking around by the car. So it was, it was amazing. We're just walking, we're just driving, heading to downtown. And my dad's like, oh my, there's a moose right there. And so we just kind of followed him and filmed it. So it was pretty cool. That will be in the video as well as the touring of Anchorage. And I also have a couple other videos um, going through Anchorage gift shops. And then another one where we go through some really beautiful shops um, in Anchorage, uh, a toy store, a beautiful quilt shop, and the quilts that they had hanging on the wall were absolutely stunning. Uh, what else was there? A, a really nice um, gift shop, and then a beautiful, beautiful, sparkly, sparkly, I want to say um, kind of antique slash consignment type store. There were just chandeliers everywhere, and crystals, and jewelry, and just it was just the most beautiful shop. I walked in, I was like, oh my goodness. So it was a great little strip mall there in Anchorage right off Benson Avenue. And so I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you enjoyed all of the videos of my trip. And um, next time I see ya, hopefully my hands will be a little bit dirty. See you next time, bye.